Is he recording? Yes. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Kyrie from Shopline. We have Wenxia over here from the Merchant Success Team, Ifeng from Marketing Team, and lastly, Keen from the Business Development Team. Hi. So in this video, we're going to go through what life is like as an intern here at Shopline. Okay, so I myself here started off as an intern, and now they offered me a full-time role, and now I'm a BDC, which is a Business Development Consultant, focusing mainly on social commerce, which is the Facebook live streaming aspect of things. So, yeah, so I, what I do every day is basically I look for new Facebook live streamers to onboard, with us and adopt our solution, hoping to actually help them streamline their business flow. Yeah, so what do you do, Wen Yep, yeah, so like what Kyrie said, I'm a merchant asset intern, right? So mainly I handle like onboarding of merchants to get them started on an e-commerce journey. Right? Other than that, actually I've also been given the opportunity to handle a product marketing side of things for uh, Smart Ads, right? Smart Ads is our AI assisted advertising system. Yeah, but what about you, Ifan? So as a marketing intern here at Shopline, I mainly uh, do up the content creation and also the designing of the visuals. I also do up uh, landing page optimization in order to uh, increase our traffic for our website and also lastly uh, planning and supporting our weekly webinar planning. And last but not least, Kim, what do you do on a daily basis here? Okay, hi, yeah, so I'm Kim. Um, I'm a business development intern here at Shopline. So actually I've joined since May. And what I do normally is uh, lead generation, so we try to find new business for Shopline. And also I work closely with our managers uh, to actually uh, develop new business initiatives to bring new business as well. Yep, over to you Kyrie. Yeah. So what do you guys do actually on a daily basis? What is the day like for you guys here at Shopline? Mm, for me actually, like I said, uh, so I had no onboarding of merchants, right? So day to day I would schedule Zoom calls with the new merchants that are signed in and brought in by the BECs. So I will onboard there, have one-to-one -one training session with them just to show them how our platform can help them to actually you know, improve their e-commerce uh, website and stuff like that. Okay, so for product marketing side, uh, I will keep track of like things, like updates, product updates. Make sure they are pushed to the local team, make sure they, they get updated for all these uh, new products uh, and features enhancements and stuff like that. Yeah, so that they can, you know, uh, tell more merchants about our platform and how we can help them. Mm. What about you, Ethan? Okay, so uh, as, I, as I mentioned, so mainly uh, I work on copywriting and also graphic designing. But other than that, on a daily basis, uh, I often have to uh, liaise with a lot of uh, stakeholders, uh, both externally, so including like our corporate partners, in order to have a joint weekly webinars. And also internally with like these guys over here, so colleagues from other departments. Because after all, in the marketing department, uh, like uh, I don't get as uh, as much direct uh, of exposure and interaction with our merchants and customers. So in that sense, uh, their input can really help me to improve on the kind of uh, communication materials that we design over here at marketing. What about you, Kim? Okay, hey, yeah, so um, as business development intern, right, actually I do a lot of things. I would say like a jack of all trades. So firstly, there will be the weekly meetings that I have to attend. And next, there will be lead generation as mentioned earlier. So um, this involves um, coming up with new leads, thinking of who do we target next, and also uh, some cold calling to reach out to new uh, business um, customers. And also, um, I work closely with the marketing team to help them with webinars. So I will do um, content creation webinars like PowerPoint slides and also um, posting them every week. And um, also about the new business initiatives, right? This involves like me liaising with um, different government bodies, agencies, and also our customers, like, to um, actually have um, to procure information and also um, prepare them uh, for the initiative to try to bring in more business. So my work is actually quite, I would say, like a big range of different jobs, but it revolves around bringing in new business and also like working in different departments to get things going. Yep. Cool, cool. So actually, what made you guys want to join Shopline? Oh. That's a good question. Yeah. Okay, uh, okay, I can go first. So actually, I came in May. So um, personally, I'm actually a university student in uh, NUS business. So it's my summer break now, like a school holiday period. So I'm, I wanted to gain more work exposure. And I'm aware that um, e-commerce is actually a sunrise industry. So I was thinking to join a e-commerce company like Shopline to gain more exposure in e-commerce and also to see how working in a real company is like. And also, um, Shopline is a startup. So I wanted to gain exposure working in a startup. Yep. What about you, Eva? Okay, uh, for me, yeah, similar. I think 
uh, the fact that uh, Shopline is involved in the e-commerce industry, that was a very attractive factor for me to try out this internship because uh, it's definitely an industry that's uh, rapidly growing, especially in uh, Singapore and also globally, especially with the pandemic, right? So a lot of businesses are digitalizing uh, now. So for me, like, because I've never actually uh, been in an internship, internship that's uh, in the e-commerce e industry, so it was something that was unique and uh, something new that I wanted to give it a try. How about you, Wenjie? Uh, for me, actually, uh, I'm still waiting to go into uni, so I'm going into uh, CHS uh, in this coming August. So if you're going, so then hit me up. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. So as for pre-uni internship, so same. Uh, this is my first internship, so I just wanted to gain more exposure into the working life and also uh, how does a company actually usually run their operations and stuff like that. So that led me to actually shop line because uh, I feel like they are. Although they are startup, they do have a uh, regional presence, especially in like, Hong Kong, Taiwan, where they are quite established. So I think this is a good uh, avenue for me to actually learn more about other aspects of uh, business operations rather than just a local startup. Yeah. Hey guys, so what's unique about being here at ShopMind as an intern and what surprises you, Ethan? Uh, to me, it was definitely the amount of freedom we were able to get. I believe like y'all would uh, agree with me. So like when I came in, I really just expected like oh probably just my supervisors uh, instructing me has to do and then I, I just follow them right. But instead when I came here, I was really surprised because I realized how much freedom and autonomy I was uh, given to be able to uh, contribute my ideas and really see it come to life uh, through a lot of projects. Yeah. Uh, for you, Kim, you got any similar experience? Okay, actually I wanted to say what Yifeng said, <laughs> but it's okay, I fully agree. Um, to add on to that, I think another good point would be the low hierarchy structure in Shopline. So in Shopline, actually, um, the interns are treated um, just like the full-timers, like there's no difference in treatment. Uh, you get the same shirt as them, you get the same lanyard. Yeah, and like, my general manager, right, he also takes the effort to really hear our views. And uh, once in a while, he will actually schedule like a catch-up session with us interns individually to actually hear about how we feel in short line and so do some goal setting and like to ensure that our welfare is well uh, taken care of. Taken care of la. So I think that was quite nice of short line. It's a low hierarchy structure. We actually feel quite at, at peace, la, at home, I would say, uh, in short line. Yep. What about you? For me, strangely enough, it's almost the same as Ifang's. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, in another point of view, I think I feel like um, we... As interns, right, I was quite surprised that we are actually entrusted to, to like, you know, for me, it's, I actually go out to lives with merchants myself. Like, my supervisor, he, he trusts me entirely. Okay, then he also sometimes he will, uh, you know, get my feedback on certain issues, like, what, how can we better refine the processor, stuff like that. Which I think a lot of uh, companies don't really give that opportunity to interns to voice out their opinions. So, I think that's quite good. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. So how are you guys actually enjoying the culture here at Shopline? Mm, I think for me, the culture here, I like that, you know, uh, the Shopliners, right, they are actually quite um, aligned in the common direction that we're moving forward as a company, right? I think this largely is because of the uh, well-conceived plan by the, you know, the higher management, and then they help to, you know, uh, make sure that we are all aligned on this direction that we're moving forward as a company so that even across departments or like marketing, business development, merchant success or even product marketing, okay, we're all moving forward you know, towards this objective for the company. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I definitely feel that the culture here at Shopline is super welcoming and inclusive. So like Kim said, right, even though we are interns, we don't feel any different from the full-timers. Everyone uh, gets along very well and we uh, there's a lot of opportunities for us to collaborate uh, across departments. And also, everyone here is really very nice and helpful. So like, even though uh, a lot of us may be super busy with work, work but if someone else uh, comes to you asking for help, uh, straight away you would uh, offer the person help, regardless of how busy you are. Yep. So uh, that's a huge reason why I really en uh, enjoy my internship here at Shopline because I believe that other than the kind of uh, meaningful work and uh, interesting kind of work that we work on on a daily basis, the people really uh, have a very huge role to play in uh, how much you enjoy your internship. Yep. So I agree with two of them about the culture. It's very warm, welcoming. And uh, actually I came in in May, right? So I actually came to the office for about two weeks before it was um, heightened alert, like, so they go work from home. So it was kind of pity because everyone was quite welcoming during the first two weeks. Warm, chatty and helpful. 
But during work from home, right, there's also like many initiatives that could make us feel comfortable with short life as well. For example, there were like um, nuts being sent to our house, there was welfare pack, and also some Fridays we have like Zoom games where our team will actually not work for a few hours on Friday and actually come together and play games on Zoom to have some bonding. La. So I thought that was quite a fun culture in Shopline where it was not just all about work but also about um, team spirit and also bonding within the company. So I thought that that was something I like about the culture in Shopline la. besides being warm and helpful and welcoming as they mentioned. Yep. So thank you for your time guys and it's very insightful sharing. So if you guys got any questions, you can ask at our social media over here. <laughs> Kickstart your career today! <laughs> Ta-da! Yeah. I, I, I completely forgot what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys! <laughs> no. Okay, hey, okay, wait, see, calm down, then action, then. Ah, yeah, okay, okay. Hi, Mom. Uh,